Yesterday, Speaker, Stephen Harper concluded the negotiations on the secret Trans-Pacific Partnership. Details of the deal are just emerging, but we know that it will be good for big pharma and it will be bad for health care in Ontario. The Council of Canadians warns that the TPP threatens the possibility of creating a national pharmacare program in Canada. And the CEO of the Registered Nurses Association of Ontario said that the TPP will kill pharmacare. Speaker. Yet, sight unseen, the Premier and her federal leader have endorsed Harper's secret deal. Why is this Premier choosing big American pharmaceutical companies over the health care needs of Ontarians? Speaker? Thank you. Again, Mr. Speaker, the leader of the third party oversimplifies a very complex situation. Yeah. We haven't endorsed anything, Mr. Speaker. What we said was that we must compete globally. To take the position that she and Tom Mulcair have taken, which is we wipe our hands of it, we're not going to compete on the global, in the global economy, we're just going to say forget it, we're not going to sign on, is ridiculous in 2015, Mr. Speaker. You absolutely have to work in the global economy. So what we've said, what we've said is, on the face of it, there are opportunities, but we're very concerned about some of the issues that we believe should have been more transparent. I'm not happy with the way Stephen Harper has negotiated this. He hasn't talked with the, pre with the premiers. He hasn't talked with any of the local communities, Mr. Speaker. We're concerned about supply management. We're concerned about the auto parts sector, but that doesn't mean we're going to put our heads in the sand and pretend we don't live in the world. Thank you. Supp Speaker, Doctors Without Borders issued a statement about the TPP saying, and I quote, it will raise the price of medicines for millions by unnecessarily extending monopolies and further delaying price lowering generic uh, competition. And that quote, the big losers in the TPP are patients and treatment providers in developing countries. We know that this deal sells out the public speaker, consumers and patients, not just in Ontario, but in countries around the world. And yet this premier is, quote, excited about the TPP and has endorsed Harper's secret trade deal so that she can remain in step with her federal leader. Why won't this Premier listen to the people on the front lines and do the right thing for Question. Ontario patients and demand changes to the Trans-Pacific Partnership before Canada signs on? Thank you. So, Mr. Speaker, the leader of the third party just said this is a secret trade deal. I kind of agree with her that it was not transparent. We were not able, as the premiers of the provinces and the territories, to be able to see the negotiations as they went along. That's why we asked the Minister of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs to go to Atlanta, Mr. Speaker, to make the case for uh, supply management. Mr. Speaker, we've been concerned about this deal. But the leader of the third party can't say it's a secret deal and then say she knows exactly what's in it and we shouldn't <laughs> sign on to it. Mr. Speaker, we have to know what's there. There is a ratification period. We need to know what the details are. We need to consider those details, Mr. Speaker, to cite out of sight. Um, what is that expression? Sight unseen. Sight unseen. Say we're just not going to take part. We're not going to sign on. Is a ridiculous position to take in 2015. <laughs> Be seated, please. Thank you. Order. Final supplementary, please. The government negotiated a secret deal that will make it harder, harder for Ontario's future health care challenges to be met, and the federal leader that the Premier has been campaigning for is signing on to that deal, Speaker. According to the Ontario Health Coalition, the TPP will limit the government's ability to control drug prices, which could put a national pharmacare plan out of reach for the province of Ontario and the rest of the country. Again, I'll quote from Doctors Without Borders. The negative impact of the TPP on public health 
will be enormous, and it will be felt for years to come. Speaker, why is this premier endorsing Stephen Harper's secret plan instead of standing up for pharmacare in Ontario? Question, thank you. Speaker, we need to see the agreement and we need to be able to analyze it because it has been quite secretive, as the leader of the third party says, which means we don't know all of the details that are Nor in it, Mr. She. Speaker. We need some time to analyze it. But here's the thing, Mr. Speaker. I have a huge amount of confidence in businesses in this province and in this country. I believe we can compete globally. And Mr. Speaker, as a Premier of the province of Ontario, it is absolutely my responsibility to make sure we can compete globally, Mr. Speaker. That is the future. That's why it's so important that we have foreign direct investment coming to this province, Mr. Speaker. That's why we invest in our people's talent and skills. So we're going to compete globally. We're going to look for the opportunities and seize those opportunities. But, Mr. Speaker, we need to analyze this deal, which was not transparent enough. But Thank we you. don't know those details, and we need to find those out, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.